All right, you guys. Back on the Derex. We've kind of roughed it out. Now we have some finished dimensions already done also though. Uh, these two sides, this side, this side, this side, and this side. Uh, so uh, this surface is not finished yet. It's, it's we have to we have to come down about another forty thousandths, and we have to rough out where the squiggles are in there, and all this underneath here needs to come out. I'm not going to take any of this out yet until I'm farther along. That'll be one of the last things I do is that to finish this uh, off. Uh, here's a reminder of what the picture should look like when we're done. So that underneath side, I'm not going to do until like the last step. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the features up here. I'm going to finish this surface, drill, the and the chamfer. We'll get this uh, roughed out on this, this for this uh, side profile and all that. Always helpful when... Uh, doing complicated parts or complicated uh, processes. Write it down. Write down what, what you're going to do. Write down the steps uh, for what the plan is a little bit. And uh, dimensions and uh, all that good stuff. You know, having a, having a drawing is one thing. But... Or have two, or three or four. But writing it down can really help with your operations and make it go a lot quicker for you. So I have this sitting up on top of uh, two half inch parallels down here. And I have this side against the fixed jaw. Might help, might not, uh, but it is. I have about 40, 50 thousandths to take off of this surface. And it has to extend back into where this stanchion is. Uh, so I'm going to rough some of this out first. And, before, and then get it down to the, all the same depth. And then we'll finish do the finish uh, cuts on that. I'm using a 3 quarter inch high speed steel Niagara end mill here. Uh, and this one's non-center cutting actually. And uh, this thing is doing a fantastic job on hogging this stuff out. And actually for the finished pass, it's just fine uh, for what this is. And remember, this was made out of a casting originally. So we're, uh, we're just going to continue with this. I can do a nice oh, inch and a half depth of cut with it, which is more than enough for this whole project. So we're just going to stick with it.
We're just going to use a depth mic and measure right down to the where it's sitting on the parallel. This is a one and a half over five sixteenths. So let's use that. That way we'll make sure the bolt uh, fix fits in there. Little, just a little bit of polish on there and. Just, just perfect fit. I, I just, just love it. I'm going to uh, chamfer this hole to match the uh, angle on here, right? So it's a 60 degree angle. And what I've done, so I made a tool and I'm using the boring head. You'll see right there, right? So I made a boring bar basically. And what I did is I cut away half. This is just a piece of half inch uh, W1 tool steel and made a cutting edge right on center line. And then I ground a relief angle. Uh, I put about 15 degrees on there. And then I ground relief on the back, just like a drill, right? Sloping down and away. So I could use it as a, a boring tool with the edge here, and this is at uh, 60 degrees. So I can just go down, and then I heat treated it. Uh, we're just with a torch, hardened it, and tempered it and stuff. So I have a nice hard end here, and cutting edge. Then I honed it with a diamond file. And uh, we're just going to, uh, I did a couple practices, of course, to make sure this was going to work good. <laughs> And uh, it, it comes out really good. Uh, so that's going to match that. I just do it easy. It just slices it away. See how we're doing. No more. 
don't know. I, I think I need about a, no, oh, maybe 50 to 100,000, somewhere clearance. The part that sits on top here, this is bolt or screwed into it, right? Nice tight against that top shoulder. So we want to, you know, looking for the clearance for the top shoulder to here. I don't want too much. Now I need to do this same chamfer on the other side. So we'll end up flipping this over and we'll do the same, same thing because the nut sits in the chamfer. I think that uh, looks real nice. Uh, we've got a couple little burrs, but that seat's in there just, uh, so they get the burr out, but that seat's in there just beautiful. That worked out really well uh, for a quickie boring bar and getting the right angle. All right, we're gonna test this out. We'll slip our stud in on this side, All right? Or pivot pin, I guess it really is called. And we'll screw the nut over here. That's it. I don't see why we. All right, now I made the I made this pivot pin per Derek's drawing. And, you know, that, that thing could be a quarter inch longer without a problem. I mean, I could uh, chamfer a little bit more, but it's, all right. it's, it's good enough uh, as far as depth goes. But you're not going to get a quarter inch uh, out of it. Now, the next, next uh, part we'll want to do, I'll, I'm going to, I want to get all the rest of this uh, finished out, detail finished up. And then uh, we'll have some part here to machine out on this side. And then we have the whole part on the bottom. I'm not machining that out because that's helping with holding and stabilization of the part uh, for the rest, for all these other operations, right? So that's why I'm not doing the bottom yet. The bottom's going to, the bottom bulk uh, in here, all, all of this. Right here, I'm sorry. All of this right here will come out. But I wanna I wanna get this part uh finished up first. 